Today we're going to play a little game I'm calling Guess That Tamron. Because Tamron have uh, just released a teaser trailer showing a new E-mount lens that's going to be coming, hopefully, very soon. But obviously, in a teaser trailer, they don't tell you what it is. But the clue that they give us is a little bit interesting. So let's see if we can work out, and if anyone can guess, what the lens is going to be. It would help if I could actually remember what the clue was that they gave us. Oh yes, they say uh, performance plus versatility at one point, and then they say capture virtually every scene with just one lens. That kind of screams super zoom lens. It's definitely going to be a zoom of some form, but to say capture virtually every scene definitely means it's going to have a pretty long focal length. Now, from the rendering of the lens within the video, there's a few points and few characteristics that we can make out so far. Firstly, in terms of silhouette, it looks very similar, maybe slightly shorter than the 28-75. It's definitely got the big zoom ring at the front, the focus ring behind it, exactly like this and the 17-28. to You can make out there's a definite distinctive break between the very front of the barrel and the zoom ring, which suggests that it is a, an extending zoom barrel, not a, an internal zoom like the 17-28 to is. And judging by the width of the barrel and the width of the front, it's almost certain that it's going to carry the same 67mm diameter that so far Tamron have got in all of their E-mount lenses. Now, in terms of the focal range, this is where it's going to be a little bit interesting because Tamron have already covered 17 up to 180mm at f2.8. They've covered the Holy Trinity. So this is presumably going to have an aperture smaller than 2.8 whether it's constant, whether it's variable, who knows. And in terms of the focal length range, it's going to be a pretty much to sir that it's going to cover everything from fairly wide angle through to beyond short telephoto. So it's going to have a longer zoom range than this. So what sort of focal length and aperture could we be looking at? We could be looking at just a slightly longer focal length than this, like a 24 to 105. That's a pretty popular focal length for full frame cameras. Or we could be looking at a really long super zoom lens, something like the Sony 24-240, but that's not a constant aperture, that's like a 3.5-5.6. to 5.6. But I'm going to bet that it's neither of those two lenses specifically, because, as I've mentioned in previous videos, Sony is actually a big shareholder within Tamron, they're like the second biggest player within the Tamron company. So I think there's a lot of them pulling strings in the background to make sure that Tamron don't directly compete with other Sony lenses and are kind of spreading the chips out to cover more areas of the market. So obviously the 28-75 2.8 doesn't directly compete with the 24-70 f2.8 G Master. Same as the 17-28 doesn't directly compete with the 16-35 G Master and the 70-180 2.8 doesn't clash with the 70 to 200 G Master. And likewise, the three prime lenses. 35mm f2.8 doesn't clash with the 35 1.8. The 20mm f2.8 we now know isn't clashing with a 20mm f1.8. And the 24 f2.8 is either not clashing with the 24 G Master or Sony are bringing out a 24 1.8 further down the line. Fingers crossed. So, anyway. That's why I don't think it's going to be a 24 to 105 because Sony already have a 24 to 105 f4 and it's not likely to be a 24 to 240 or maybe slightly longer than that because Sony already have that as well. But then again, it wasn't that long ago that Tamron brought out a 35 to 150 mil f2.8 to f4 only for DSLRs. So maybe they're going to come out with a more obscure focal length like that. But I don't think it is going to be 35 to 150 f2.8 to f4 for a couple of reasons. Not forgetting that the advantage for mirrorless lenses in terms of being able to bring the size down is only valid for wider angle focal lengths. So like wider than 35 mil. So with the 35 to 150 DSLR lens, it will probably quite heavily restricted with the fact that they were dealing with the DSLR, whereas with the mirrorless, they could probably get a much wider focal length. So, perhaps could be 24mm, but I'm wondering if they're saying it's 
versatility for most occasions, are they going to go really extreme and go even wider and say maybe start at 20 mil? And then maybe having a two-stage barrel rather than just a single piece that allows it to zoom out to, yeah, maybe like 150 mil, maybe even further than that. But then you're dealing with a very long barrel, a very long focal range. You're definitely going to be dealing with a variable aperture, and I don't think it's going to be an f2.8 to f4. Because if they then did release a 20 to 150 mil f2.8 to f4, that would pretty much render this lens obsolete and arguably a good chunk of that brand new 70 to 180 mil obsolete. So maybe a 20 to 150 millimeter, but an f4 to 5.6. That's where my bet's on. But what do you guys reckon it's going to be? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below while you're down there. If you haven't already, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button. As always, thank you so much for stopping by and hopefully I will see you in the next video.